brought the big gun. Whoa! <laughs> Freaking Jack, you could crush me with them things. <laughs> We're gonna be doing it together. Surprise! I didn't tell anybody it was a collab. <laughs> We're gonna try and um, take out all the color, all the 33 years. If you guys saw part one, it's in a different video. I'll put some clips and blurbs in this one, but uh, Marilyn Minnelli and I are gonna go tackle some black box. Yeah. Let's let's hopefully, go. Let's, <laughs> hopefully, uh, it doesn't melt. Yeah, break off, melt. Bam. I mean, that's what's gonna be great about this video is you're gonna be able to see the real. Oh, all of it. There's Just no hiding it. We can't edit like no. the. We can't filter the 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 color or like filter the video. Not at all. It is what it is. Wish us luck. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so let's get a little closer. We have about seven lighteners that we use at any given moment. Yep. And the main reason for that is because different lighteners do different things. Yes, they do. And why? Well, the Oligo, <laughs> what we've noticed with corrections, we've noticed that the Oligo, it gives you a lot of lift, but it doesn't, it's not like hellaciously powerful. So you kind of have a little bit of leeway because like a slower foiler, slower foiler, you have a little bit more leeway with the Oligo. Like we love Joyco, but Joyco is definitely for like those super pigmented. Yeah. The Joyco course. Blonde Life is yeah. very aggressive and yeah. it's great. It has Fantastic. a purpose. Fantastic, yeah. It ha definitely has a purpose. Yeah. And this one's I feel like like a general. Yeah, and I feel like this one's gonna give me a little bit more lift. Yeah. Um, but not, 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 not aggressively. It's gonna give yeah. me the pink cushion because it does have the bond technology built within its developers. Uh, I personally really like Penrose as well, but at the same time, I think this one overall is going to deliver what we need yes. for this type of correction on our lathe. Yeah, because we're still dealing with box color regardless at the end of the day. Uh, no matter that I corrected it and you know removed as much of the pigment as much as possible, we still have it in there, so we still need power. But again, our model has finer hair, so we don't want to you know fry it off. So. She, we do need to mention too, she is, is she is okay with cutting it. Yes. So that is a huge plus. Yeah. It's definitely something that you want to discuss in the competition. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and mix this up. Okay, for let's do it. Okay, let's do it. We're going to mix two bowls because Marilla and I are going to be using the Oligo Cool Tone Blonde. And we're going to do mix our lightener one ounce at a time. One ounce at a time because when you mix more than one ounce, uh, lightener only really has a shelf life of 60 minutes once it's oxidized or once it's sorry once it's mixed. Um, so 60 minutes after the fact, it starts to lose its potency. So we only do one ounce at a time because we can we can breeze through one ounce, right? But we've all had those situations where we mix more than an ounce and we mix a little too much, or it starts to swell because the swelling is coming from the rapid oxidation that's coming from the air. Let's do some developer. What was it like? Help me. You're feeding the plant? Help me. <laughs> Sorry. Spice by spray. I'm not even recording. <laughs> <laughs> spray. It's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> Alright, so this is really the way to do it. Yes. So you want to thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly thoroughly saturate the hell out your client's hair. You don't want to saturate. You actually do. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Just want to make sure it's like damp. Yes, this is damp. Do my hair. I don't want it dripping wet. No, you don't want it dripping, but you definitely do want it saturated. Now, with the K18, this, the mist, you can't overspray it. The point of this is to open up the cuticle and allow that restoring process to start happening. You know why I know this? Because I'm K18 certified. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna separate into the traditional four quadrants. Top of the crown, to behind the ear, to that hair, boom, and then we'll go back out the rest of it. All right, enough dilly-dallying on our end. 
We are literally just gonna start doing diagonal backs all the way up the head. We have our oligo mixed at a one to three ratio with 20 volume. We're going to lightly feather into the gray root. We don't need to put lightener on that root. We're using Big Daddy Brushes by Framar. Of course, we fucking love Framar and we are using their foils as well. But we're just lightly sandwiching the sections on top of each other and just laying in a foil and just keeping it going. Making sure to keep high maximum saturation on those ends and not folding the foils. That way we don't create any lines of demarcation. because they've already been processed once and I don't want to run any risk of compromising. So Morella actually started putting them in conditioner just to, you know, get them hydrated. But we are going to foil those bad boys out and then slap them in their own separate foil. So I'm kind of just leaving it out. And she left it out too. She stayed with a different foil. That way she can take out the pieces. Okay, I'm going to finish off the back. Looks delicious. Okay. All right, so this part gets pretty redundant, but guys, we're just gonna keep going up the head. We're still doing diagonal backs. I only folded this one because it was a tiny piece, but keeping that same pattern, still using exact same formula, and we are feather lightly feathering into the rootage. And throughout this process, we are double checking the back, making sure that the back wasn't overlifting. Um, we were super happy with the lift that it already had at this point, but we wanted to make sure her hair wasn't gonna become compromised at all. Uh, so yeah. Darker and damning a bit, but that's okay because that's the box color at its finest. Pretty close to the Ding. Before my camera didn't capture anything that I said, I went back and mixed up more of the Cool Tone Blonde by Oligo with 20 volume, but mixed at a one to two ratio instead of a one to three. At first we started pulling them one by one, but then we quickly realized actually the entire back of her head was pretty much processed and it processed unevenly, which fucking sucked. And we ended up getting lightener all over the floor and it was fabulous. All right, we started pulling them. You guys can see she's banding. I mean, part of the course. But uh, we're just going back in with the Oligo um, Extra Blonde. Take this one? Sorry. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we're just going back through with everything to help get rid of these bands. See, I knew my first one was right. It is actually the extra blonde. I thought it was a cool tone blonde. I don't know why I mixed that up. But anyway, we literally pulled them out and went back in and started applying and uh, hope for the best. The beautiful thing is though, <laughs> it's coming out pretty easily, honestly, because it should be, it should not be this light if we didn't do all the things we did yesterday. If only I knew that I was going to eat my words when I fucking said that. You guys just wait. 
Look at us working together so well, but we are just making sure this shit is hella saturated. You guys can see her ends are still hella, hella banded. And it was so weird how light the top was getting and then the middle was getting, it was just insane. Go backwards. Okay. <laughs> so here are all the foils are wrapped up. We're waiting for Lisa here to hurry up so we can eat some food. Yeah, I'm hungry. So I'm super hungry right now and we're gonna let this process for about 30 minutes, checking it in a little bit and hopefully, fingers crossed, we got a nice lift so we can get it as light as possible so we can give her her dream shade. We're turning her into a nun. Look, look at this. Into a nine? A nun. Oh. She's, she's already we a nine. Get a ten. <laughs> look, she knows levels. Holy fucking shit. How is your hair this long? I don't understand. At this point, we're pretty impressed on how the lift, but it is banding like a motherfucker. So we ended up taking it all off. And at this point we're like, all right, well, let's rinse. Things. Bleach finder. All right, let's do the bleach finder. It's such a fun shampoo. It turns pink when you find bleach. Well, how are you gonna see the pink in this uh, canvas here? Oh Lisa? no, it's like hot pink. <laughs> oh, okay. So any stylist that says, please bleach finder, I'm too good for that. Y'all are a bunch of cornballs. I'm that stylist. You're a cornball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need bleach finder, I'm too good I for mean, that. It's, it's kind of a cool idea. Dude, it's just, a dope idea, are you joking? I'm not, I'm not a fan. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys like this crap. <laughs> <laughs> it turns hot pink when it finds bleach. That's so cool. I don't see any hot pink. That's well, because I rinsed all the bleach out because I'm good like that. No, you didn't shampoo it once. Correct. But I'm that good at rinsing. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know what? Mine's filming too and I can hear you. <laughs> Show your face. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Wait, you gotta do it this way. <laughs> yes, because that means to you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We gotta put the a tin in there. Who cares about her camera? What about mine? <laughs> Do you hear this? Tom Fuller. Okay. The abuse that I deal with. Hey, can I use this? Thank you. One. Multiply, apply, apply, yeah. apply. I think I'm gonna do two pumps. I'm just doing one pump on this side. What the fuck? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Pumps in the bump. <laughs> I like the girls with pumps in the bump. What are you, what are you saying? <laughs> it's a rap song. <laughs> we decided, I was watching Lisa wash out the hair and see a lot of peach tones, orange tones, mm -hmm. yellow tones. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. And ideally when we were first started to do the thinking process on this, we were like, oh, green, blue, rapid toner. And then I think it'd be great, but then she's also got some of those lighter pieces. Yeah. And then I was like thinking SV green rapid to green blue rapid toner. And then I was like, oh, that might be muddy. So anyway, Lisa We're was like, anyway. yeah, she was like, let's do SV. And then we both kind of like thought the same thing. So now yeah. we're gonna do both of them. Yeah. So. So we're doing green blue for the orange, the darker pigments, right? Mm -hmm. We're doing SV as the base. I know I've been holding around your across your face the whole time. We're doing SV as the base because it's lighter for those yellow peachy tones. So we're kind of covering all of our bases. Oh shit. Oh yep. my gosh. I just realized I can put the camera on top of the other camera. It's so much easier. Wow. Oh, you don't have to hold it. Check it out, man. Check it out, man. Check it out, man. So we're gonna do one ounce of SV rapid toner, yes. a ribbon of green blue. One to two. One to two, pre-tone. And then Lisa's gonna give her a cut, blow dryer out, and we'll see what our canvas we're working with. Yeah. Let's go, let's get out of here. Okay, so our whole thought process with this is using the green blue to get rid of some of the orange because that box dye pigment on the very bottom of her hair was fucking brutal. Uh, we wanted to pre-tone this as much as we possibly could because we wanted to obviously see what we could work with. Her hair was not really budging past like a dark seven 
maybe light eight. Um, lots of brass, lots of warmth, lots of banding, to be honest with you. Um, so we did the pre-tone to see what we were working with, and we were pleasantly surprised by the pre-tone. Her hair was in pristine condition, and uh, we were really pleased with how the green-blue really canceled out all of that orange, and then obviously the SV the blue tone is going to cancel out any of that darker yellow, and the V, the violet, is going to cancel out any of the lighter yellow. So overall, we were really pleased at how this whole thing worked. However, we still had to deal with a lot of inconsistencies, which you'll see right here. The roots are beautiful, but the ends are still hella fucking orange. We got six NUA, eight SM in this bowl. I got no ammonia, 10 volume. I got eight NUA in this bowl. Let's get into it. So we had discussed we were gonna do some dimension through the top because we knew that she's really salt and pepper. She's not 100% gray and we didn't want it to be solid. She had initially wanted solid and we were like, ah, I just don't think that's gonna work. So she was like, yep, yeah, cool, do what you want. So Morella and I decided to do kind of like a base drop through the bottom because we knew that the hair underneath was much darker. So we did that 6NUA ASM uh, demi mix at a one to two ratio at the bottom. And then through the top, I then did low lights and a root tap of the 8NUA uh, one to two ratio um, and then did low lights as well. But this is me starting out doing the bottom and then with the ends of her hair, I got a little ballsy and I was like, I want to use no ammonia, 10 volume, nothing crazy to try and take out as much of that warmth as much as possible because we knew at this point there was no way in hell that we were going to be able to get that gray silver color because it, there was just way too much orange in her ends, way too much melon, way too much buildup, honestly, still. Um, so yeah, this is where we decided to get ballsy. So what I did was, is do a thicker weave, drop down the low light, and then another weave, I would make the low light, the dark starting higher, and then the highlight starting higher. So basically I created a lot of highs and lows, a lot of backdrops, and a lot of dark pockets and light pockets to create as much dimension as I possibly could. And I painted out the highlight with the no ammonia and 10 volume. I truly feel like I was moving at the speed of fucking light at this point because I did not want to compromise her hair and I really just wanted to get out all of that darker ends of her hair. So I'm gonna leave this clip up because I did not end up getting film footage of after this point because we were honestly so delirious and so tired at this point. So I started pulling them. I love the, I loved the pull. I loved how her hair was feeling. Her ends were definitely a little compromised, which is why we ended up giving her a haircut and she was totally cool with it. But we ended up at the bowl uh, getting a little ballsy again and decided to do um, some SM, a Moroccan oil, um, a Moroccan oil mask, a Pallor mask. And we ended up turning our hair a little bit green. I didn't really get a lot of footage of this part, of this part but her hair turned a little green. We didn't hate the color, but it just wasn't exactly what we were looking for. And honestly, it's because she still had so much orange on the ends of her hair. So we actually had her come back in and we did another glaze. So at this point, we have done two glazes at the bowl that night. We had her leave at 9, at 9 p.m had her come back in the next day and ended up doing two more glazes for the final result. This is her hair after night one. It looks beautiful, but I promise you it has a slight green tinge to it. It looked more blonde than anything, which wasn't exactly what we were going for, but this is the absolute final result of the entire correction. Guys, we couldn't get her there. We could not get her 100% silver. Her ends just still had way too much pigment in them, way too much melanin in them. And there was honestly just no way. Her hair was left in pretty good condition at this point. We were really pleased with the overall feeling and the overall look of her hair. She's definitely gonna need another round though. But she was happy with it. I was happy with it. Morella was happy with it. And she went from 33 years of black box dye to this. So, I'm headed right on out. I know. 
But we it's spent about three freaking days tired as fuck, and it came out fucking amazing. It wasn't silver, but she loved it, and that's all that matters. Hey, she said it. She said it herself. <laughs> Twenty-two and a half hours it took for us to do this, right. and uh, I'll call yeah, you we call. couldn't necessarily do silver because there's too much melanin on the ends of her hair, and I didn't want to compromise it more than it already was. Um, this is Danielle. Hi. She does my lashes. They look a little. They actually don't look so bad. Yeah. Anyways, um, she has watched the whole process. She saw us go into Deliria. We were uh, delirious yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Um, because like of mental mental hospital delirium. Yeah. yeah. No, seriously though. Yeah. We we like, did not sit it. down once. We like barely even ate until like the very end of the day. Yes. Yeah. I think the whole <laughs> the whole process is this is Deliria. <laughs> I'm in delirium. Um, the whole process was incredible and I learned a lot. Um, and my client, the biggest compliment I've ever got in my life, she chose between me or Jack Martin. And Jack Martin is like the gray king. So the fact that she went with me for like different reasons was very humbling and my head, my head's huge. And this is Brenna. This is B-Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, and they just colored her armpits. It's giving. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh. Are you that covered? Are your armpits? That fucking scared the shit out of me. Um, yeah, this whole correction was insane. And like I said, the fact that she compared me to Jack Martin is humbling. The fact that she thought I was even worthy of that, humbling as hell. Um, yeah, I think overall. I'm really happy about it. I'm having to come back in a couple of weeks. We're gonna do another toner and start to build the pigment, build the ash in her hair. Cause right now her hair is just like, it's like, I'm done. Like I'm tapped out. Rightfully so though. Cause we, we did a lot of shit in the last few days. So stay tuned. I'll, have, I'll upload an update video um, when we do a touch up and then we'll document this, this whole journey. Cause she's, she was like, I'm a lifer. And I was like, sweet dude. So. Despite the fact that we weren't able to get it 100% sober in the first sitting, she was still so tickled and she literally told me she's never leaving me. So, yay! Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to both my glorious half ass channel that I barely have anything on <laughs> and Marilla Manelli's channel. She does a lot more education on here than I do, but I'm working on it, okay? Anyways, say goodbye, Danielle. Bye. Bye.